so students let's move on to next topic so now we are going to discuss about a very very interesting and important topic that is the reactions in a moving lift we all have at least some experience whenever or wherever to ride inside the lift and we also realize that if we can remember we we all know that when lift moves in the upward direction we feel heavier our weight seems to be increased but when it moves in the downward direction we feel little bit lighter isn't it our weight seems to be decreased by somehow isn't it so why this happens what is the reason behind it today we will get the answer from here now we all know that weight our weight when we stand on the earth surface or anything that is on lift or whatsoever the weight of a body always acts in the downward direction so obviously that surface also exerts an equal and opposite reaction to us and because of this reactional force we can feel the weight we can feel our weight it is not because our weight is acting in the downward direction so it is just acting in the downward direction disappearing but the surface our surface or anything or any surface when you stand table or anywhere else it exerts apply some reactional force so because of this reactional force we generally feel because that reactional force acts on our body and because of that reactional force we can feel our weight and when this reactional force is absent there is no reactional force in, in absence of reactional force we cannot feel the weight of our body whenever when any coolie or anybody generally when we carry in load isn't it any person put a load or luggage over his head isn't it it generally applies the weight acts in the downward direction and the reactional force because of the reactional force we can feel the weight isn't it otherwise we cannot feel the weight so so that's why so because of this very this change in this reactional force the weight inside a moving lift generally varies time to time when it moves in the upward direction in downward direction how and why it you it can be easily explained okay so after the after this uh, video i think you will be clearly able to understand what exactly happens inside the lift and why so okay so suppose this is the diagram of a lift okay and a man is standing here so obviously having mass m so m indicates the man okay so its weight acts in the downward direction so obviously its floor the surface of the lift will exerts an equal and opposite force that is reactional force which is which is indicated by capital r clear now we will see some conditions when the lift is at rest moving upward direction downward direction if it breaks what will happen so case number 1 suppose when the lift is not moving which is at rest okay so when the lift is at rest there is the weight of the man acts in the downward direction and the reactional force exerted by the floor of the lift on the man is r since in this case there is no acceleration so we can say the weight of the man is balanced by its reactional force so r minus mg equals to 0 0 means this is the force it is equal to mg since no acceleration so zero so r is equal to mg it means in this case the weight of the man is exactly equal to the reactional force by the floor of the lift on him so in this case he will feel exactly its weight 60 kg 60 kg weight next now if now the lift okay begin to move begins to move in the upward direction with acceleration clear so since here the lift is moving in the upward direction with acceleration a okay so in this case the weight acts in the downward direction and the reactional force acts in the upward direction now since ultimately we will have to find out just like in case of free body we saw so ultimately since the lift is moving with an acceleration in the upward direction so the reactional force is greater than that of the weight so r minus mg is the resultant force if is equal to ma if we apply newton's second law m is equal to a because ultimately it is moving with acceleration a so from here we can say r is equal to m into g plus a from this expression we can clearly understand realize okay when we when the lift moves in the upward direction when the when the lift is at rest when we switch on any button of 
any floor as soon as when it start to move in the upward direction we feel heavier isn't it it seems that we think that our weight our apparent weight this is called apparent weight which appears to be which was the actual weight apparent weight seems to be slightly increased because of this expression you can see r is equal to mg which is the actual weight of the man our weight but due to this plus a expression that is m into a it is added so due to this extra quantity extra ma our reactional force it means here you can see the reactional force is greater and as i have said due to the reactional force which exactly acts on our body we feel our weight we only feel we only can feel our weight due to the reactional force and since r is equal to you can see mg plus ma because of this extra quantity ma our reactional force is greater and since reactional force itself acts on our body so because of this ma quantity extra ma we feel heavier isn't it we feel our weight is slightly increased so this is the key reason okay in increase of our weight when a lift is moving in the upward direction i think concept is clear now third case if when it okay descend when it descend moving down in the in the downward direction with acceleration a that is less than g okay it means which is not free fall okay it is not free fall the break the lift is not broken that is when it just generally comes down so in that case since the weight is in the downward direction and what happens when in case of merry go round when we move down in the, when we move in the downward direction slightly we can feel that our weight is slightly reduced not only slightly up to a significant figure so in the first case we saw why we feel heavy and this case we will see why our weight seems to be reduced so this is because of this so reactional force in the upward direction and weight acts in the downward direction since ultimately the lift is moving in the downward direction with acceleration a so here weight is greater so mg minus r equals to ma so from this calculating we can found r is equal to mg minus a now here it is minus a mg minus ma so because of this minus ma quantity its weight is reduced here is mg plus a some extra quantity is added with its weight so that's why it feels heavier but here minus ma is subtracted from the original weight so that's why when a lift moves in the downward direction our weight appears to be slightly reduced so this is the vital reason when we got down isn't it from merry go round or roundabout in the downward direction this is the reason of okay of of reduced weight clear moves on to next condition if now if somehow the thread or the wire breaks tear breaking of the lift due to accident isn't it it moving freely in the downward direction it means it's actually it moves in the downward direction with acceleration equals to acceleration due to gravity what will happen from this expression we have already got m into g minus n. this is moving down so in this expression if we put the value of a equals to g m is equal to g minus is zero it means you can say reactional force is absent there is no no reactional force it means when it tears off isn't it with acceleration due to gravity free falling of a body in that case we feel weightlessness as i said the weight can be felt only due to presence of the reactional force which exerts acts on our body so there is no reactional force weightlessness our inside our abdomen becomes almost like the light isn't it just like empty so that situation clears due to absence of reactional force fifth condition what will happen if the body moved down moving in the downward direction having acceleration greater than greater than acceleration due to gravity okay just imagine so in that case what will happen as soon as okay as soon as it is started to move down in the downward direction greater than g so what will happen the leg isn't it the lower portion of that the body of the person is generally detached from the flow isn't it when it isn't it when it try to downward direction isn't it in the in the downward direction so when it started to move in the downward direction the body isn't it the, the feet will be detached from the floor and head will just immediately touch at the top that is ceiling of the lift you can easily understand stand okay it is just moving in the downward direction somehow suddenly if the tear off when it gets down with acceleration greater than acceleration due to gravity so what would happen you will just move in the upward direction you just float in the air for somehow for some while then immediately its head 
we touch the floor that is the ceiling of the lift then that ceiling isn't it will when as soon as it will touch that the head of the person touch the ceiling of the lift then the ceiling of that lift or the roof ceiling will just immediately exert some reactional force so in that case reactional force acts in the downward direction until the head touches the ceiling of the lift mind it clear so immediately when it is just started to move in the downward direction greater than g it will just fly in the it will just float inside but then immediately it will touch head touch the ceiling ceiling will try to exert will exert a reactional force so weight acts in the downward direction reactional force also in the downward direction coming with acceleration due to that okay with an acceleration m a so r is equal to m into a minus g it is called super weightlessness super weightlessness isn't it it means empty anything inside empty what will be the result i don't know because i think i think i don't know how many persons have the okay have just um, has this kind of experiences so this is called super weightlessness so in this way due to okay the change in position of the lift the apparent weight of, of any body or any uh, any person generally varies now under such condition it means in this condition what will happen you can just imagine but everything in the floor will just stored isn't it whenever everything if anything is kept on the floor of the lift the head of the man will touch the ceiling so anything okay it will just accumulate just like the magnet it will the ceiling of the lift just attract each and everything on the floor and it will just attract on the get touched so leaving the floor everything will be just stored okay everything will be stored in the ceiling of the lift just like in magnet in that case we can assume that the ceiling of the ceiling of the lift has just turned into a magnet and it will just attract each and everything from the floor towards itself clear